You've made it here, so you know you're here. This is Dumbo, down under the Manhattan River overpass. They had the IDO, otherwise it would be a terrible acronym. Um, you're specifically here in the uh, lounge space. So as you're walking around, there are signs that mark everywhere you're going to be. And this is the IFP uh, Made in New York Media Center. Great space. The IFP is something you should learn more about if you don't know about them yet. They produce a lot of great things for indie filmmakers, if that's what you're about to become or currently are. Look into them. Um, and at the bottom of this page, you're going to see some handles and a hashtag. We encourage you guys through Twitter, Instagram, etc., to communicate today and after today with uh, this group and with this program because we have a feeling you're going to make it on to the competition. We hope that you do. Um, housekeeping stuff real quick. I'm going to talk to you about what the colors on your badge means. Um, I'm going to remind you that unlike me, who doesn't look at a clock very well, classes are going to be timed pretty specifically, about an hour for each session. So this morning we're going to have two classes at 10 and 11, uh, and then this afternoon we'll have three classes after lunch. Um, basic orientation of the space one more time, if you're looking at this map, the restrooms are right behind this white wall. Uh, the other three spaces that you're going to be looking for are going to be the theater, which some of you are going to be going to right after this, uh, the suite, which you can get to right through this door or through the hallway by the restrooms. Both go to the same place. Or classroom number one, which is right near where you guys came in. Right? So the exits and entrances where you came in or right behind you right there onto Plymouth Street, uh, Pearl Street rather. And so I think right now, how do I know where to go? And I'll show you today's schedule. And then I'm going to kick it over to hosts. Uh, this morning, if you have a yellow on your badge, right, you should have two colors on your badge. If you have yellow on your badge at 10 a.m. or right after this opening word, um, you're going to be staying right here for a script writing class. And if you have blue on your badge, if you have blue in the morning session, you're going to be heading to the theater for Film Invitational 101, um, which is really great stuff and will help you get to the next step. And then for the afternoon session, take a look at your badge. If you have uh, that pink color, then you are first going to be in the pre-production class in the suite right behind us here. If you have green, you're going to be in classroom one for production. And then if you have red, you will first be in the theater coming out of lunch. All right, so we'll keep this schedule up after we finish this. You guys can reference it. It's around. You can ask at the front desk if you are lost or have a question. There's three spaces. I think you guys can do it. All right. Video, or are you ready to follow? Um, yeah, we can show the sizzle for the 2015. All right, everybody stand tight. This is going to give you one last point of orientation. It's really great. This gives us an idea of what this program is all about. And then I'm going to hand it over to our friend, Neil Jacoby, to Welcome everybody, and then hear from our host from the film festival. Here you go. Okay, let's welcome one of our partners, our sponsor, Neil Jacob. Hi. Hi. Welcome uh, today. Thank you so much for coming out and doing this. I'm going to explain why AT&T is involved and why we partnered with the All-American High School Film Festival and the Tyler Clemente Foundation. Um, but first I want to talk about the Tyler Clemente Foundation. And does anybody know, does that name ring a bell to anybody? Are you familiar with Tyler's story? Um, it's one of the first sort of known instances of um, internet technology playing a, a pivotal role um, ultimately in the demise. Um, he took his life by suicide. Uh, three days after his roommate had uh, recorded with a web camera in his uh, dorm room an intimate encounter he was having with a young man. He had just come out um, the summer before and um, his roommate um, sent by Twitter an invitation for the other dorm mates on the floor to come and watch this again. And then he found out about it, read the comments over and over again. He was totally humiliated. Um, by the experience. Um, he drove to the George Washington Bridge and jumped off. Um, and that was in 2010. It was, I think, his 
first week at Rutgers. Um, and so that was, a, that was a searing moment, I think a wake-up call for our industry. Um, but to be honest, I don't think that we've gotten much traction uh, making a difference. And uh, we conducted a poll with the Clemente family. It was a poll of teens, 13 to 18 year old, and parents who have teens, 13 to 18 who live at home. And it was really jarring. And it told us that, among a lot of things, that the, the online environment and social media is hostile, and very negative. Um, and the difference between that and sort of the environment that I grew up in is that social media amplifies, right? And I don't think a lot of my colleagues or folks my age sort of recognize that like Snapchat and Instagram um, are like TV was when we were in school, right? So like I watched them TV and that was all. And, and the way I try to explain it to my colleagues at at and it's as if you are cast in these reality TV shows on MTV, unscripted, and all the stupid things you do are broadcast out to all your friends. And that's what Snapchat delivers, that's what Instagram delivers every day, all day. Um, and, and it's damaging. And so what the refrain that I hear over and over again from people my age is that, oh, I'm so glad social media wasn't around when I was a kid. Well, it is around today for all of you, and we have to take responsibility as an industry and a company uh, for doing something about the hostility and the negativity. And we know from research that that kind of abuse in a social media environment can lead to depression, substance abuse, alcoholism, sometimes for life. Um, in the case of Tyler, it led ultimately to his death. And every town has a story of a young person taking their life uh, because they just could, they succumbed to the abuse, they couldn't take it. Um, and so five years, six years on, I don't think that we've really scratched the surface or had a, a measurable impact in educating both adults and teens about the seriousness of this problem. And so our solution at at t is to throw it to you. Can you help us fix this? How in your voice can you tell this story to your peers and get through to them, and to your teachers, and to your parents, that this is a life or death situation for some young people? And so this is why we partnered with the All-American High School Film Festival. Um, they have this amazing program. It's so engaged, so interactive. It's educational, help you learn how to produce. But how can we funnel that effort for this social purpose. And so what we're trying to do is collect all this film, um, create this competition, and ultimately produce videos that can be used in high school assemblies and classrooms. It will be all available for free. Um, at and is going to help produce this with these guys. Um, I, I'm, my colleagues, we have, at and has a field network of, of people all across the country who organize school assemblies and events for, for high schools, mostly around texting and driving, around it can wait. And so what we're trying to do is take that model and now apply it to cyberbullying in the hostile online environment. But we're going to do it with your voices. And so that's what today is all about. This is an on-ramp to that production. We want you to win. We want you to succeed. And so pay really close attention today about all the tips and tricks from the experts here who are here to help you make beautiful films. But just be yourself. Tell your story. Um, be honest. Um, remember Tyler, remember his tragedy, his humiliation, um, and, and thank you so much for coming here today. We're really proud to be a part of this whole activity, and um, we really look forward to what comes out of it. So thank you very much. Uh, Andrew? <laughs> so if one of you got that piece of reading material. He's the guy. What's up, guys? How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Um, so we started uh, the film festival now... Four years ago. <laughs> I don't know, but now that at and on board, this is really the first year. <laughs> Um, no, thank you guys. Uh, I think today's going to be really cool. We have uh, some awesome speakers. When we first started the film festival uh, in its smallest form when I was in high school 12, 13 years ago, um, God, I would have loved 
the opportunity to talk to people from CNN, HBO, we have editors who've made Academy nominated films here today. So don't be shy, I know I'm, I tend to be shy sometimes. Ask all the questions that uh, you wanna ask and, and there are no stupid questions today. Um, unless it's coming from, from me, then it might be pretty stupid. Um, that was funny, right? <laughs> Thank you. Um, so uh, with that, soak it in, enjoy it as much as you can, learn as much as you can, and I will hit, oh, tweet it out, you know, use the hashtag, ATT Sprint Training, because that's really short, and uh, you know, it's good for them to be short. And uh, I'll pass the mic over to the guys who really run this thing. So Andrew and Brian were both my students um, a long time ago now, and I can tell you that um, they would have loved to have an opportunity like this. So I'm Tom, I'm the festival director, co-founder with Brian, who also helps run the festival. Um, and simply put, we believe in the voices of our youth. And we believe in your power to collaborate, to create art that can not only move people and entertain people, but can also change the world in which you live. And we are absolutely thrilled to be taking this competition and what we do as a whole as a festival to a whole new level, thanks to support from the Tyler Clementi Foundation and our friends at AT&T. This is an unprecedented opportunity, and you guys are the ones that get to take advantage of it. So soak it up today, you know, do everything you can to make art that makes a difference. There are so many young people out there, we get to see so many of them, you are the ones that are going to actually do something. And you should be really proud of that. And this day is to help inspire you and be successful. Right? Cool, yeah, so um, we're really excited to have you all here. I think everyone's kind of covered that. Uh, we're gonna get it going. Um, again, be active today, keep your minds on, uh, interact with your peers, learn from the speakers, uh, we got a lot of cool stuff going on. Um, and just to echo all of that, you guys are all really, really talented and that's why you're here. You can make unbelievable films and we want to show you that you can impact people's lives. So let's start that today. It's going to complete, be completed in October. Um, and I think it's one of the coolest things is that AT&T is going to take your work all over the country. So I don't know, you know, you can put it on YouTube and maybe get, you know, a couple thousand, whatever, even a hundred thousand hits, but this is going to be brought to schools everywhere uh, and impact kids everywhere. So let's have fun today. Let's have some energy today. Ask some good questions. If you're in script uh, writing, ideation and script writing, you're right here. You don't have to move. That's yellow, I believe. If you are on the blue and film 101, just go down this hallway to the theater and you're with Tom and I. Uh, let's get it going.